Lee, you're out of the competition, but you must be quite proud of some of the, the effort of your, your players, particularly in the second half. Yeah, I thought second half we was excellent and um, we got a respect that Wolves are a fantastic side full of uh, energy and power and quality and um, I thought we really gave it a go for our supporters. First half we was um, off the pace in comparison, obviously that's due to the quality of the opposition but also individuals and tactically we didn't get our game going and second half was the complete opposite. I think we had 15 shots um, we was very brave, we was very bold, um, players sort of had that football arrogance, if you like, what you like to see in, in, in our teams, in Bristol City teams, and fans will be disappointed, of course, that we're not through, but we'll respect that we've uh, taken the top seven Premier League side all the way. Did you change the formation at half-time? Yeah, I think when you play against Wolves, they're, they're, they're very smart in the way they work, and obviously, if you play a four... Often they get the switch on, and obviously I know Nuno well because I've done my coaching badges. And so in fact, I was the one hitting them diags in his sessions in the coaching <laughs> badges. So I know exactly how he wants to play, and uh, and they do it well. But I didn't want to change the formation considering the run that we'd been on. Um, but certain elements of how they affect us, um, we didn't deal with well enough, and um, the goal was probably a good example. So I changed to a five, and uh, and a. Gr- a positive five in terms of a three-five-two, and uh, got another man up front a bit closer to Famara, and uh, three in the middle, went toe to toe with their three, and I thought it was it worked pretty well. Five changes that you made were they enforced or was that with a mind on on the league and how important the games you have in there? Um, oh, or going to be? Yeah, no, I think it's a, each individual change has to be taken on his merits, like. Vyman's out, you know what I mean, with a with a back issue. Um, Marlon Pack had had uh, five stitches down his Achilles and hadn't trained all week. Um, and ideally, we wouldn't have used him. Do you know what I mean? Because there's a risk of that um, injury sort of uh, or the stitches coming away, given the position it is on the Achilles slash heel. Um, Bailey Wright's club captain came back in. And uh, I can't remember who's the other who's the other changes. Jada Silva like finished the game excellently. So the only real tactical change, if you like, that, that was that wasn't in force was probably Bailey Wright for Eros Pisano. So uh, yeah, we wanted to win the game, and and we tried to pick the best team to do that. What do you know about the incident at half time? Your head coach Jamie McAllister being booked, I believe. Head coach, really? it's after my job already. <laughs> <laughs> it's only one loss. <laughs> um, I don't know. It, listen, it, to be fair, that they're, they're a fiery bench, and we're a fiery bench as well. And um, like, it's a lot. It's a bit of handbags, to be honest. So I don't actually know what started it, but uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's nothing. Lee, uh, will you? You take away from this game a lot of encouragement for the league, but are you a little bit disappointed that you didn't get extra time today? Yeah, I thought we like we showed the character and the charisma and the identity in that second half that we're after. I'm disappointed. Listen, it's hurting that we're out of the cup because we won. We felt we had a chance, but you got to learn from defeats, and uh, we take the positives, but we also understand where we're a little bit short at that level, and uh, I think it's reasonably obvious for everybody to see uh, you can see their strength and their strength in depth the money that they spent like I said the money they spent well they've got a lot of internationals there on the pitch and players that have played at extremely high level so in that sense you've got to remember where our boys have come from and where we've come from as a football club and, and like I say um, respect that we, we've taken a, a very good side uh, right down to the wire One of those big strengths they have as well is Doherty down the right and Cody who have been in the championship for a long time the way they've improved presumably you can use them as examples to your players and, and what they can do going forward well I think we've got our own examples of that you know most of the players that we've recruited like Marlon Pack from Cheltenham for example you know that has uh, been league two and, and look how he's now one of the best midfielders in the championship Josh Brownell um, do you know what I mean? People like Jada Silva and, and Joe Morrell having come through the youth, and uh, all our players have got to improve because it's the standard that we're trying to compete. We haven't got huge resources for the division, and therefore the coaching element and the 
student, i.e. the players being good students and showing a good application in training, has to be there because if it isn't, we can't compete. And um, I think that today I've just asked the individuals really, as well as the collective, to go home and, and really assess themselves in terms of what they've got to do uh, to be a consistent performer at that level because it, in one sense that was a Premier League um, like test for us and uh, and we stood up well to many elements of it and some we fell short although I did think it was handball for the goal <laughs> yeah, There was also a handball shout for the penalty at one yeah. in the first half Have you seen that? No, I'm not sure if we were playing Wolves or the Harlem Globetrotters at one point there was a uh, <laughs> There was three handballs, the one that Bolly uh, received it from the goalkeeper as well. But, um, yeah, obviously that's just uh, listen, the referees, at least they were consistent with it. You know, the bit, the one that disappointed me, though, was the goal. Because it was clear that, although it was a ricochet, do you know what I mean? It, it laid the ball perfectly into the path um, of Do Doherty, wasn't it, to be able to to square it into an area where we didn't have uh, players recovering anywhere near quick enough. Okay. Good. Thank you. Sorted. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Cheers, Enjoy your weekend. Oh, yes, no, it's nearly finished, isn't it? <laughs>